focus. Focus. All right, before we start this video, um, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not already, go subscribe, turn on post notifications, and also click the link in my bio. It's the first link, josiahstewart.com. Click the link, sign up for my weekly programs, and you'll get uh, weekly workout programs for free. It's lit. Yo. It's kind of close. Word. So, what's good, guys? Jay Settings here, back with another video. Back, you know, got the pink do rag on, you feel me? Had to show my true colors. No homo. But yeah. And a lot of you guys, well, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been taking cold showers for every day for the past. It's been a while. Let me put this down before I look stupid. Um, but it's been a little while. Um, and I like been updating you guys on my progress and everything like that. Like how it's been helping me with different benefits of it and everything like that. And I was like, I'm gonna make a video for y'all. So here it is. Okay, so just a little quick back. Ooh, he's really trying to kill me. Oops. <laughs> I don't want to die. Okay, I can't do this out here. This bee is going ham. Um, I'm bugging. I'm out. <laughs> Never mind. Wow. Alright, so I'm back inside now. As y'all can tell, I had to run away from that bee. But, um, like I told you guys, we're going to be talking about, well, I'm going to be telling you guys about um, the benefits of cold showers, how it has helped me, um, the reasons why I think you should do it. And I'm gonna give you guys a little kind of step-by-step -step guide on how you can like ease your body into doing it because it is uh, um, it is kind of hard to start doing. Once you start doing it, your body starts to get used to it. So let's get right into it. So um, just a quick little back story, backdrop about it. Um, my dad has suggested that me and my brothers, if you don't know, have nine, well, eight other siblings, and nine of us all together. But he has suggested that the four oldest. Um, start doing like ice bath or cold showers a while ago it was a couple years ago and i was doing it i maybe did it like four or five times back then then i stopped um but if you are following me on instagram or you follow any of my other videos you know that i had um hurt my back well i didn't hurt my back someone had hit um the car from behind it wasn't even a bad hit or nothing like that i guess it was just a sudden jerk and I think they call it whiplash. So um, it had hurt my lower back. I haven't been able, well, I hadn't been able to like pick up any heavy weights. I haven't been able to deadlift like 700 pounds no more. So, you know, that's a bummer. But um, yeah, so I had, it had hurt my lower back and um, it's been like that for a solid couple months. But um, that's one of the reasons why I started doing the ice bath, not the ice bath, the cold showers again. And it has really helped just for that I'm not sure exactly like the scientific um, facts behind it. I think just like how if you sprain your wrist or you uh, sprain your ankle or something like that, they tell you put ice on it. So I'm assuming it's that same type of concept when the cold showers um, go on your body. So it can really help if you had any type of experience like that or hurt yourself in your back or your legs or anything like that. It can help with that because it has helped me. It helps helped um, just bring the pain down. I can now. It's still not 100%, but it is getting better. So I'm just continuing to work on it. I'm taking, I only take cold showers now at this point. I don't even take hot showers anymore. So um, yeah, I'm working on it. So I'll be back to normal. I'll be benching. I mean, not benching. I'll be deadlifting 700 pounds again soon. So um, what was I saying? Another benefit is that if you're someone like me, I get sore from workouts like pretty easily. Um, so, and like if I, just change the amount of reps. I, it can really be something small. If I change, if I do a workout that I haven't done before, like let's say if I'm always doing um, dumbbell presses and I switch to doing um, regular bench press, I'll get sore off of that. If I just switch the weight a little bit and the rep range is a little bit, I'll get sore really badly. And well, not really badly, but I'll get sore. And um, so if you're like me and get sore pretty easily, cold baths will help a lot. Um, Cause I've noticed since I started doing it that I don't get sore. As I still get sore, but not as heavy. Like I should make a video on it. No, honestly, like when I train legs, and I, if I do something different, like um, if I do like a ton of lunges, which I'm, I always do a lot of lunges on my leg workouts, but if I do like a ton of weighted lunges, walking lunges, I will be 
insanely sore. I'll be walking down the stairs like an old person. I, I it's it's bad. If I train cat, it, don't get me sorry. If I train calves, I don't necessarily train calves like all the time. So if I train calves, bro, I cannot walk up the stairs for nothing. I'll be like, because you know the handrails on the side, I'll be like kind of using those as crutches to push up because it just hurts so much to go on my calves. I just get so sore. So, I don't know what it is, but I just get sore. It'll last for like three, four days. Um, but yeah, if you're like me and you get sore uh, frequently, if you get sore at all, ice, I keep saying ice. We're not doing ice baths. I haven't done an ice bath yet. That's a whole nother level of cold. Um, but cold showers do help with that because I've noticed since I've started doing that, I don't get as sore i still get sore but now i don't get as sore um and it goes away faster because like i said i'm taking cold showers every day now so it goes away a lot faster and i don't get like super super sore with a point to the point where i can't walk up the stairs or i look stupid walking up the stairs um so yeah it's another benefit another benefit that people i guess don't really know or understand is that um when you're taking a cold shower that cold hits you, your body goes into shock, your body starts to tense up, your heart starts to pound, um, just a whole, one of, a whole bunch of things that go on in your body, um, all once that um, cold water hits, it just shocks your body, and your heart rate is starting to sh um, speed up, and your body, what it is basically is your body is working in overdrive, overtime, going super hard, just to try and regulate your body temperature to get your, um, to heat up your body I would say. And that takes energy to do, right? And if you know any type of just like, what's the word? I don't know. But if you know energy, a main source of energy comes from fats. So like I said, your body's using energy to warm your body up, to go into overdrive, to fight against that cold so you don't kill yourself. Your body is going super hard to um, get your temperature back up. Using all that energy, which you need fats, it's using the fats to bring that energy, to bring the warmth. So you're really just sitting inside a shower burning fat at that point. Um, so a lot of people don't understand or don't know that, but that is um, another benefit of cold showers. There are a lot of different benefits. People even say it's good for anti-aging. If you're not trying to have wrinkles on your skin, people say it's good for... Um, so I saw one thing, I was researching, I saw one thing, I was like, it boosts your self-esteem. Because like, if you could fight through this cold shower, you could fight through anything. So um, I kind of see what that is because cold showers are definitely... Hard, something to get used to in all honesty but um yeah there are many benefits even with energy if you take a cold shower when you first wake up like me i'm the type of person i'm always tired because i'm always doing stuff late at night late well late into the night then waking up early um so i'm like always tired sleep deprived everything like that which is bad you get your eight hours of sleep because you don't grow muscle if you don't sleep you don't grow at all if you don't sleep so don't be like me get your sleep um that's completely off topic. But like I was saying, if you're someone who wakes up and still tired, which I think everybody does at that point, if you wake up and you're still tired, go inside the shower, cold shower, guarantee you can't fall back to sleep. Cause it just completely speeds up your body, your energy just skyrockets all the way to the top. And um, so yeah, it really helps with energy, it really helps with, it's a lot of different benefits. Like you can Google it yourself. I just wanna go over a few of them, like the ones that I went over, but. I'm not trying to make this video that long, so that's why I'm not going to go over everything, but it really helps with soreness, it helps with like muscle um, fatigue, it helps with, um, pain, like I was saying, pain, like my lower back and everything like that, anti-aging, energy, uh, what was the other one I said? Soreness, muscle, fat burning, there we go, fat burning, it's a whole bunch of things, so I highly suggest you guys do try it out, and um, this, I kind of give you guys how you can kind of start it, because like I said, it's hard. At first, um, how I kind of do it is, okay, if you're sitting down for like four hours doing absolutely nothing before you go and try to take a cold shower, the water is going to feel 10 times colder because your body is cooled down. It's not doing anything, so your body temperature is not that high. So once you go into that cold water, it's going to feel 10 times colder. So what I like to do, I usually do just like 100 push-ups <laughs> before I go take the shower. kind of warms up my body at that point and then I go inside the shower. I, I've worked up to where I don't need to go from warm to cold. I just go straight inside the cold and it still shocks me, but you know, it shocks me for like 10 to 15 seconds, something like that, then I kind of get used to it. It's kind of like with a pool. When you, if you try and like walk into the pool, it's colder instead of just like jumping into the pool and just diving all in. You feel the cold, but then after a while you get used to it. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Oh, so like me, I don't even have to go from warm to cold. 
I would just go straight in cold, jump in there, cover my whole body in the cold water so my whole body's getting used to it, um, go on my face and everything like that. But for someone who's just starting out, like how I had to do is you go outside, you turn on the shower, right? You could do what I said to do the any type of workout before to warm up your body. You don't have to do that. That's just what I do. Um, that's not like a necessity or anything like that. That's just what helped me. But um, you go into the shower, turn the cold, turn the water on to like a comfortable temperature. Don't make it too hot and you don't have to go into cold yet. Make it a comfortable temperature, right? And then slowly over time, let's say like every 30 seconds, every minute, Turn the knob down to colder, or if you have like the two things, turn the hot water down a little bit more and the cold water up some. And just keep doing that till you can go down as low as you can to get the water as cold as you can that you can bear. And the first couple times, you don't have to go as cold as your um, shower lets you go. But after a while, you want to work down to there. And then um, when you get to the point where you don't have to work from the warm to cold, you can just jump right into the cold. Then um, another tip that I have, I said it before, but get your face wet because I feel like that helps me um, get my whole face wet, just let the, water, the cold water just go all over my face. I feel like that kind of prepares the rest of my body. I don't know if it's like actual like scientific proof behind that, but I feel like if I put the cold water on my face, my whole body is like, oh, it's coming to us next. So let's get ready. So I feel like that's helped me. Um, then, like I said, make sure you get your whole entire body under the cold water, or as much of it as you can, because just like with a pool, if you only have like half your body in and you try to put the rest of your body in um it's gonna feel a lot colder but if you have your whole body in there then it'll be warm altogether. so yeah that's just my little spiel my little um talk about the benefits of cold showers i really highly suggest that you um try it out if you have not already please do try it out hope you guys learned something from this video make sure to leave a like comment down below i want you guys to go take a cold shower tonight or whenever the time is right now, middle of the day, take a cold shower, comment right now and tell me what you thought of it. If you were able to go as cold as your shower let you, let me know, because I want to know. Um, if you think I was gassing it and it wasn't that bad, let me know too, because maybe I'm a baby and I can't handle cold water. I don't know. But um, if you saw, if you like doing it consistently, come back to this video, or you could DM me or anything like that. And just let me know if it helps you in any way, if you saw any of the benefits that I was talking about. Anything like that, I want to hear y'all feedback. Make sure that it was actually beneficial to y'all. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Turn on the post notifications right now because bangers all summer 18. It's not even summer yet. So, I was just going to say bangers all 2018 and 19, 20 to the rest of whenever. I don't care. I'm going to start rambling right now. I um, hope y'all like my do rag. I'm trying to get a different color for every single video, but I don't know how that's going to work. I'm going to try my best. Y'all can send do-rags to my house. Right now, my address will not be displayed, but if you want to send me some, give me money. Um, all right, bye. That's it, Brian?